Hello and welcome to Game Swaps Mason's uh, Thursday Night Premier Modern League. I'm Robert Meadows. Adam Moles is using the bathroom. Um, on the right here, on the left here, we got Mike Augustine. I don't think he's on Restore Balance. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't what is he on? I thought he was on like the pre, um the. I thought he was on the Jody Keith Prison Deck. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. This is pretty sweet. Augie's Augie's quite the uh, the yeah. brewer. I joke with Augie because he's usually two years ahead of the uh, ahead of the game. But he was yeah. playing that. Uh, oh yeah, the colors. Like I played against Kellos. it. I legit played against it. Yeah, he was playing the colors all drowsy deck like a year and a half ago. He said that he said his list is four cards off the uh, the standard deck list these days. And like the four cards were like four smuggler copters or something like that. Yeah, because <laughs> he smuggler copter. Wasn't around? Well, Augie kind of just doesn't play Magic ever, so he probably didn't know it was a card. But yeah, I was full on with the uh, Eternal Scourge combo. Mm hmm. It was annoying. Yeah, that Serum Power plus External cur Scourge is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Because. And the Gemstone Mine? Cavern? Yep. Yeah, oh, oh, we have a Twitch. Hot modern action, Brugga Magic. Where are you? You're a part of the. Aren't you part of the league? Um, Brugga Magic. Bobby, bo where are bo you? Brother Robbie. Um. So how 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 are you today, uh, Adam? I'm doing fantastic. Now that we have this match on camera, how are you doing? How are you doing, Robert? Oh, uh, good. Uh. You know, head work, all that jazz. I actually didn't work today because I haven't gotten paid in three weeks. All right. <laughs> But is this like a didn't didn't like your old employer? Same employer. No, no. Yeah, my old employer didn't didn't pay me didn't like to pay me either. Oh, this is restore balance. Yeah, he was for sure hundred percent restore balance. So the thing about the restore balance deck is like He's they play, on. they play. Give us a little deck tech. What does restore balance do with this deck? They play evolving wilds, and or tetramorphic expanses. Terramorphic. Terramorphic. So expanses. for those of you that aren't nuanced in jank combo, uh, restore balance is the deck on the left played by Augie. Uh, his name is not Mike Augustine. It's just Augie. Yeah, just Augie. I didn't. I thought I didn't know he had a first name for the longest time. Yeah, uh, we need top deck produ production emblems emotes. Kn known him for years. But yeah. So restore balance is going to win by. They play Greater Gargadon. So what they want to do is they want to set up a turn where they cascade and restore balance. They have a planeswalk or some card to get card advantage in. Yep. And then they can sack all the lands to Gargadon, and they basically. Or they have no lands in play already. But they have no lands in play because what you see is they play border posts. And if you don't, if you don't, if you don't know what border posts do, I don't blame you. Uh, like evolving wilds. Right, I want to bring in field mist, uh, field mist, or one of the other border posts. And then uh, the deck on the right is the Ironworks combo, so that wins with its namesake card, which is Crack Clan Ironworks. Yep. Crack Clan plays... Ironworks is a four mana artifact that says, sack an artifact, get two colorless mana. Yeah. So like, there's a weird way to go infinite with this deck. The Ironworks deck, I believe it's near infinite. It it can get you can go. It's I would have to need like we we will have to get like Billy Caminos to get back here to explain it. They can go near infinite because they have very interesting lines with. Um, you can sack things all at the same time. So if you get out, uh, you get out Scrap Trawler, Mirror Retriever, Crack Clan Ironworks, and then down from there. So yeah. that's a that's a four, a three. Uh, how can you bring up Mirror Retriever? Yeah, that's a one call one. Is it one or is it two? It's one. But you bring out you 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 sack them all at the same time. Uh, the scrap trawler triggers for each single one. Yeah, mirror retrievers are two. Hey, two. Right, so they sack all of them at the same time. Mirror retriever, the trigger will bring back the ironworks, mm -hmm. and the scrap trawler is going to bring back uh, the mirror retriever and all the eggs. It's just like mana. It's because the mana abilities doesn't use a stack. Yeah, it's just sacking. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. There's there's no interrupting to sacking as a cost. Yeah. You just say, okay, I'm sacking all these. And then what you can do, this happened to the GP a lot with Matt Nass. Matt Nass would just demonstrate, I'm going to repeat this X amount of times because he's demonstrating a loop. Yeah. So theoretically, it's not infinite, but um, also it plays it, pay, it plays the eggs that say when you... There, there's there's two different eggs. So there is um, Chromatic, Chromatic Star. And uh, Chromatic Sphere. Yeah, there's Star and Sphere. One, one is the cost of it going to the graveyard. The other one is Sack... When it goes to the graveyard, draw a card. And that's it. So, like, so one's part of the mana build. No, one. One, so, one is part of the ability of resolving the card that you draw the card. And the other it is purely if it's destroyed. Yeah, and, like, since the one that's part of the. Uh, 
per resolving. Yeah. Um, if you like, you can draw instant speed with it. And That's correct. And not you use sac stack. It, correct, because you'd sack it to the ironworks and you draw a card. Or at least like make, f get mana. Or you can, or you can use it to make mana. That's correct. So that's how they filter their colors around. Yep. If that was confusing, bring up uh, bring up Chromatic Star and then bring up Sphere also, because uh, there's a distinct difference between yeah. the two uh, cards. What are we getting uh, worded on? Does he? <laughs> is this like non-English? Oh, he's. Oh, uh, restore at... balance. Restore balance is a. If you want to bring up that, uh, these are these suspend cards are kind of interesting. It blows up everything that's not artifacts. Well, it's it's it's. It's hand creatures lands. Yeah, that's that's. I believe enchantments. It, no, hands okay. creatures lands. It does not do enchantments. Right. Hands. It's lands. Uh, it restore balance is perfectly. It's fair. lands creatures hands. Yeah, that's that's the order, and it goes it goes in that specific order too. Which uh, is important. Uh, are what? we going off here? I don't think so. Why is his hand on the? Why does he? No, have th those are like mana manners and a thopter. Uh, he doesn't have a case. Yeah, it'd be very difficult. So the hey, uh, get the stream dice out. Yeah, he can't. He can't go off from here. He does not have a KCI. There's yeah, you really need that card to go off, right? You, ha you have to have it. You could do. You could do some cutesy stuff, like if you have a scrap trawler. Yep. This is just like a Victor setup Wallspring. phase. This is just a setup phase, right? Correct. Yeah, he, you spend the first couple turns setting like, up. Yeah, this is sack. KCI. Yeah, the restore balance is sack. So like even like indestructible lands like Darcy Citadel doesn't get around it. Yeah, correct. And that's very we, important. Uh, focus the camera. Oh, that's that why he's doing that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So what uh, Augie may do here, he may like use a spirit guide. Yeah, actually, um, he actually does have the spirit guide in hand. Yeah. That'd be problematic because Ash still has two mana in play. Yeah, so, but if he plays a land, um, Ashen keeps all his lands, and his lands is a vi- Like- well, This is important because, remember, it's 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 reciprocal, right? Yeah. So, Augie will discard cards. Yes. So, he can actually do it after his draw step. Like, like right here. Yeah, he can do it right here. Which he's about to. Correct. He's going to do this before before Ash has priority to play any cards. After he draws, before his first main phase. Yeah, which he's about to do. And this just means that Aug Augie's really heads up. This means that Augie gets to keep another card. Yeah. Um, Augie's a... Um, Augie... Like I said, like I don't know Augie as well as you do, but it seems like he really likes these... He really he doesn't like to interact with people. When Augie he has been playing Magic for a long time, and he likes... He likes combo. He's a brewer. He likes combo. Um... He always says, like, I always see him pace on the Cincy area MTGB. It's like, yeah, I'm my battle this weekend. I never see him there. Yeah, Augie, Augie's probably one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in your life. He works for a, uh, he works for an advertising agency, right. company. And, uh, actually, he's wearing the sweatshirt that he made. He won a grant to do a, it was a puzzle that you, that you did by walking around the city. All right. And discovering things. And it, the oh, yeah, whole yeah. idea is that you were time travelers. It was actually pretty sweet. Look yeah. up, uh, I think CDX was the name. I'm not sure if they still have a website, but yeah. Uh, long story short, is Augie loves him some combo or some weirdness. He will ne when he plays Magic. He doesn't play tier decks. Uh, he plays. We all joke and say it's an Augie deck, kind of like Billy. Billy yeah. Camino says Billy Camino decks. Yeah, um, the the trigger could easily be missed. What, tri um, what trigger is it? The Merfolk aren't anywhere. Uh, I don't think we have any Merfolk players here. Uh, yeah, it's like. Merfolk players are either really dedicated to the deck. It's actually not great right now. I mean, blue green is fine. Merfolk, Merfolk is, and I, somebody actually brought this up on stream. I don't remember the uh, the rationale behind it, but right, um, probably helped to make my point. But you know, <laughs> isn't uh, that five mana to do? Uh, isn't inventor? Check can, can we bring up inventor's fair? I thought it was five. I could easily be wrong. It's four, okay. Alright, so... <laughs> Bobby said he's one and done. I believe it. You see, like, I know a lot of... Mo I know, like, interactions about modern cards. It's like, these, it's like these one ofs I just don't remember offhand. You know what I mean, Adam? Yeah. Um. So this is actually an interesting play by Ash, because he's going to get Stone Rain anyways, or he's going to get Armageddon. Yeah. Uh, but so he's going to get... He's choosing to go get a card that's going to cost four mana. That's going to leave play, and actually he's tapped out this turn too. Yeah. So he sacks that. 
And they go to crit hand size, so Ash has to discard. Yeah. Ooh, he actually discards Scrap Trawler. That's interesting. Yeah, because he has a he dark has still lands in hand. Citadel. Yeah, Augie can just keep doing this. <laughs> so. Yeah, he has multiple. He has many enablers. Yeah, his enchantment that gives uh, in his hand too. Yeah, but does he have another spirit guide? Because like the land is really the important part. The versions I've seen of this usually they they also play like Nahiri. All right. Um. Or Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, yeah, that's they a, can play Jace now. Uh, I don't know if he's just straight... I, I actually don't know how many colors he's playing. So, like, he may be forced to play a land here. Um, he so does, but he's going to border post again. It looks like he miss, he's missing colors to do... Um, what is the enchantments in his hand? Oh, no, no, he can do it. Never mind. So he might be... I don't think he's dead next turn. I easily could be wrong. Because... Oh, so he just played the border post. Um, no, because once again, he can... He can make a lot of mana. But, like, he doesn't have uh, a he, mirror retriever or he anything? Can't, he can't... As it stands, yeah, because he can't return anything at the moment. So if he taps out and plays... But, like... Right, so he can make two, four, six, eight. He can make eight colorless mana. All right, and, like, get the... So he's going to start off by sacking the, the Icar Wellspring. And just yeah, that's a card. smart thing. He's going to have two mana. I want to concur and say that's a smart thing, right? I can say concur, right? <laughs> Big dice, jeez. All right, so he's going to sack the Everflung uh, Chalice. He thinks he... I, Ashen believes he can go off, which I believe in him. Maybe. What does Merfolk Trickster do? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Merfolk Trickster? Yeah, is that, so is that we a got... Card? Oh, he does have a Scrap Trawler. Right, okay. We, yeah. right, so, so he's going to have a good turn here. Although, he did he play land yet? Yes, he did. He played Dark Seal. Um, oh, MTG bot. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... I thought you were dead. Because Merfolk Trickster is actually not... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's because Merfolk Trickster is not, is not an actual card yet. Yeah. Um, it doesn't... If somebody wants to post it so we can look at it. Yeah, you can post links in our chat. We don't care. And then, um, the stream runner... You read... Okay, what else? Does it have an ETB? How does it make the Murpho... How does it make the Affinity matchup better? So, right now, Ash... No, you're good, Ron. Hmm, Ethereum Sculptor, that's interesting. And so, when Mer uh, Merfolk Trickster into the battlefield, target creature loses all wow. abilities. So, what? yeah, I d I'm pr it's going to be very hard for him to brick here. Why? Because he has two Scrap Retrievers. All right. Like. Oh, and that's nice. You pay two mana, you get four mana. With Hangerback Walker. Oh! Nice. All right, that, that's tech. Yeah, so basically he's going to loop down. Uh, can you bring up Scrap Trawler real quick, Ren? So Scrap Trawler is a three mana, three two. It says when Scrap Trawler or another artifact controls point of graveyard from the battlefield, return to your hand, target artifact card in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. So he's basically going down. He's going, he's going two, yeah. one, zero. Yep. Right. So these are the zero costs. So he's casting this for two. He casts that for zero, sacks it immediately. He makes more hanger back walkers. He sacks the hanger back walkers to make more mana. All right. He, so the thing with this combo is he can mess it up. He can. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, right now we're just seeing um, if Ash messes this up. Uh, he still has to draw a win condition. Yeah. Right, which is traditionally Emrakul. Or I, I guess Nass he could have like I guess he could have like walking ballista. Was Matt Nass's Emrakul? Uh, it's Emrakul, or they loop um, the red spell bomb. Spell bomb, yes. Well, they got 
figure out a way to make infinite red. Well, you can you can with the stars. All right. Or the bobbles. I mean the uh, the stars are the uh, the spheres. Also, uh, eventually he'll draw mox opal, and he'll oh, start yeah. he'll start recurring mox opals. Yeah, he has mox opal. So right mox here. opal is zero, and it makes three mana, one of any color, two colors, yep. and just repeat. That's pretty rinse, good. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So at this point, he just has to draw or and demonstrate not. a loop, and have enough mana to cast Emrakul. Take an extra turn and then just kill Augie. He doesn't kill Augie. Uh, I mean, the game's over. I mean, you're right. Uh, Augie will have no permanence in play and be at 5. Plus, yeah. Scrap Chawler's a 3-3. Three, three. So be at 2. A 3-2. Three, a three, and he has an... If, so, like, if... And if he really wanted to, he could use the rest of the mana to Hangerback Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make a giant Hangerback Walker. So what did Merfolk trick your... Target creature loses all abilities until end of turn. <laughs> so how does that help... The Affinity matchup? I don't know. I don't play Merfolk. Do we think that's going to stop Ravager? Because the, the Ravager will just be in response like a normal yeah. I mean, it's neat. It is. I e will put that in my cube, my EDH, EDH deck. deck. That sucks. Oh, man, you got one of these. Who, who did you? I don't know. You guys haven't seen these. Sup, no time, 29. These sweet, sweet tokens. Um, What company makes these? I mean, they're, they're, they're endorsed by oh, Ultra Pro. The Ultra Pro hard tokens, mm -hmm. if you have a guys have any idea what I'm talking about, I'm holding one of the Tarmogoyfs in my hand. This one's inaccurate, though. This one goes, oh, I guess they're also used as life counters. Yep. That's pretty neat. Like, I don't know. This yeah, is it sits the Goy if you threw it at Robert Run. Yep. Hopefully, it might be. Stop flying, lifelink, infect. Yes, but you still are, you still would take damage from the infect card. Because you can't prevent the damage, right? So, yeah, it's nice. It, and it can't interrupt. I just... What, what does that do that um, that the Flash that the flash one does not already do for you? I, I don't know. Man. I don't play Merfolk enough to know the, this. So, yeah, I mean, it could be good. Uh, the problem with Merfolk's list is they're so tight, right? Like, what do you take out for these things? It's basically all lords already. So and, and when as soon as you start detracting from that, it makes the deck harder. Between this and the critical, oh, load. thank you, no time. We appreciate that. So my uh, Rochella posted a, another picture on Ancient Area Magic about his meme deck. Yeah, I saw. I mean, we can't stop the memes. I beat it. Uh, it does, but you can also you can also uh, vial it in for two, though. Remember? Yeah, that's why it is sweet. <sighs> so we're going really hard here. <laughs> I'm I'm getting I'm getting tired watching this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> At this point, I think he's just demonstrating. Well, this is actually very good. It, you can tell Ash is really practiced with the deck uh -huh. because he uh, has not messed up. Because Augie would catch him. Augie's also one of the smartest guys I know, so he would. Uh, now it's over. He's just going to mirror retriever a billion times. Oh, yeah, this is a loop, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'm just now catching on. Yeah, it's just a loop again and again and again and again and again. Uh, and again so, and again. all right, Twitch chat, uh, what pack uh, do you guys want me to open up on stream today? That's always a fun game. We have onslaught added on. Masters um, twenty five. Uh, Ooh. Masters. I'm not going. I'm not going to do Masters twenty five. I hate Why? it. Why? So, uh, I figured out that limited format. Okay. You yeah. know what it is? What is it? Mono Jackal Pop. No. Dude, dude, I went two hundred one in three drafts by drafting. Oh. <laughs> And fire. That's an interesting one. Yeah, for a bunch. Yeah, that works too. So I literally went 201 three times by drafting mono uh, two X one drops. Like the first time was like four phantasmal bears and two jackal bups. Uh, I, I figured out what the actual what the actual good deck is. What is it? It's just like blue white control. Blue white. Yep. I know. No. No. You what you see is you draft like four jackal pups with goblin goblin war drums. That doesn't matter. Why? Blue White can beat that because they have, they have like o, o 06 walls. Well, Menace. Which, if you want to be aggro, you actually want to be like, you want to be base black. Why? Because you that? want every Vampire Lacerator. Or, what's Vampire Lacerator do? It's a 2 2 for 1. Eh. At the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponent is at more than 10 life, you take damage. So I had a deck yesterday in Magic Online where I had 6. <laughs> you won every match, right? No, I actually I lost one. I lost in a mirror. And we both had Phyrexian Obliterator. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yes, whoever he yeah. actually he actually won the mirror because he also had living death. Oh, that that's actual. The, probably if you get a living death, that's actually probably the best deck because you can just cycle, 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 and then it's living death. If living death resolves, then you you actually just win on the spot. How many cyclers are in this set? There's every basic land cycler. Um, Street Wraith is an uncommon. Um, you also you also get the three mana Phyrexian guy, that uh, sack your creature give a plus two plus two turn on the turn. Uh, so you just you play out all your creatures, yep. you attack, you sack everything, then you cast uh, Living Death. So like in all three drafts, I did I went blue red. Yeah. So deck I misplayed twenty times and still won. You must not play anybody good. I know I played against like Joe Strickland. Joe's okay. Uh, You're terrible. So I don't, I don't know what I don't know what this says about you. What I'm terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm t I'm just terrible. Um, Robert I'm gets so down. Jeez. Yeah, dude. Well, it's okay. You beat Patrick, and Patrick beat me because I tried to block with a creature that can't block, and Patrick cast his sorcery that destroys a creature at instant speed. And you know what? I no. So I actually mulled the five game three against him. Yeah. You know how I beat him? How? Dublin Hordling Outburst. <laughs> yeah, I just don't really like the Hordling Outburst decks. I mean, if you get a ton, I got two. Like, that was maybe you good. play like a Trumpet Blast. Oh, probably. I played a Trumpet Blast. Um. Dude, I was all about that trumpet brat. Bra so like then the second draft, I got Zedron, the Hedron grind, and I got the um, plus one plus one double strike card. Yeah, I was oh, like Zada. Yeah, I was like Zada, swing. Nah, the tech is uh, the crab that untaps. Yeah, and the and the uh, heavy arbalest. What's heavy arbalest do? Heavy arbalest is a f three mana artifact equipped yeah. for four. Equip creature gains tap, do two damage to target creature player. Creature does not untap as normal during your upkeep. Oh. So you have to move it. But the crab untaps for one blue mana. There's also an enchantment that you can put on something that lets it, that taps or untaps for blue mana. Oh, so yeah. basically, uh, put. From realm. Yeah, so you, you do that or attraction helix on the crab. And you get to bounce a thing or do two damage for every blue mana that you have out. That seems good. It's very good. Because again, you just play o, you play like O6 walls. That. Y so this is the second, second draft, I went to again split with Bernie in the finals. Yeah. Um, third draft, I Bernie went. Bernie didn't want to play? Nah, dude. Wow. Well, you can either be neg 10 or neg 20. I'm surprised just... Bernie usually just wants to play. It's me. He's chastised me so many times about splitting, because I split so many times. I split... I think I split every time I've ever played a game as well. Hey. Also, I, I just think he didn't want to piss me off because he's borrowing a lot of cards from me right now. Oh. I don't know. That might be a thing. I mean, I wanted to hold it against him if he wanted to play. Yeah, Robert's a guy. He uh, he found a nice gentleman to lend me a deck because I'm being forced to play in the uh, the Star City team. Open. It's like I'm pretty sure I was the only productive one in that thread for you. Oh, like one person helped. Well, the problem is like everybody owns like bits and pieces. Yeah. No, I was but you like... were you were very helpful. Patrick was helpful. Yeah, like. And then Bernie asked him before I did. Yeah. I was trying to play. Cause I because I, I I don't really want to play. But I want my friends to play, and they're yeah. coming down from Cleveland to Detroit. Yeah. Um, and you're like, yeah, I'll play with you guys. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, you're just a good guy like that, Adam. Yeah, I'll pay fifty dollars to go O three. Hey, man. Woo! You gotta have faith in your team. Have faith in your mono red skills. Well, so my team is playing. What's your modern player playing? Mono, mono blue tron. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what our legacy player's playing. Leovold control probably. Probably. It should be the other way around. Um, our legacy player should be playing. Uh, Tempo or control because he loves Jess. He loves Jess guy. Like right. that's his favorite. That's his favorite thing on the planet. So why is why isn't he? I don't know. And our legacy player uh, and our modern player should be playing legacy because all that Sal has played ever is mud. He's very good with mud. Is he very good with mud? Yeah. Um, my legacy player is on. Um, as long as you can beat Delver, you can be okay in legacy. Um, modern, you could play anything from Cheerios to four color elves to Mono Blue Tron to Mono Blue Tron to Blue Moon to Narnum Renegade and Teamer Mid Range. Right. And then standard is going to be. I imagine I'm going to play a lot of Scarab Gods. Yep, I'm playing that card. And play a lot of Scarab Gods. So I, I'll just be uh, shoving stuff sideways and uh, try to be mindful that you don't take my win conditions with Scarab God. Uh. I mean, we want to. I mean, the one of Rassix attempt your um, Hazret, so you don't have to worry about that. That's fine. Or your and your Phoenix and your Chandra. Yeah, that's they, a lot of Rassix contempts. But you do get to play Gear Hulk. Two, two Gear Hulk. Well, four, well, maybe four because Scary God. Whoa, because he can flash you back. Possibilities are endless. And you can do it at instant speed. Yeah, dude. 
Yeah, I don't know. I I haven't played standard in like two years. Last time I played standards was uh, I played uh, Theros. No, it was it was it was the dragon control deck, like the Esper dragon control right. deck. Why did you play that? Because it did nothing. It was great. Right. You did had to you... play like dig through time. All right. Oh yeah, I remember that deck. You guys played dig through time. It wasn't very good. Uh, it was. You good played for... Ojatai, Silumgar. You like you had like three creatures. Yeah, it was great. No, you had, you played like a place that Ojatai's, didn't you? I used to do okay in standard. I I got ninth at some PTQs. I finished one out of the money to Star City playing mono red goblins. Oh wait, what? Yeah, oh. when Cobblade is a thing. All right. And Edgar Flores, who's since been mid magic from a couple, been ban been banned from magic a couple times, he beat me. All right. And then he stood up and said, "Yay, me win." And then Drew Levin, who uh, was a legacy rider, I think he went on to some political things, but he also beat me. All right. <laughs> but he forgot when he cast his Avenger Zendikar, he took token, he took his dice. To make the Avenger tokens, but then he attacked with Rage and Ravine and put the to put the die on his Rage and Ravine. So then he didn't have to he didn't have tokens anymore. Uh, so I'm like, hey, shouldn't you have these? And what was it rolling? I mean, he ha they're still there. Like, I'm also not a scumbag. I, like, I'm not that competitive. Maybe I should have been like, ah, I can't just say. I mean, I don't know how many he had. Yeah. Like, but you can't be a scumbag. And then I finished ninth at a PTQ because I played Mono Green Elves when Cobblade was a thing. It was Cobblade. Wait, PTQ? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm Cobblade was a thing, and the the and it was uh, Cobblade and Splinter Twin and Valkyrie, and I played Elves. Why? It was sweet, man. You got like Fauna Shaman, Azuri. You got you got Copperhorn Scouts and Elvish Archdruid. So Copperhorn Scouts at one one. When you attack, untap all other attacking creatures. So you tap your Lord. Mm -hmm. you, you tap your Archdruid. You overrun like twice. You attack your Archdruid untaps, and then you overrun like twice again with your Archdruids. Yeah, it was sweet. I'm proud of you. It was back when swords were a thing, so I had to explain to my opponent that a uh, sword doesn't matter with trample. I'm still... <laughs> it does not protect... You're still dead. Yeah, you're, you're still way dead. Like, So what was the record for the knife? Like, 6-2 and two or 6-3? and three? Yeah, I finished X2. All right. Yeah. Were, were some X2... Did any X2 sneak in top 8? I don't remember. Uh, this was like six years ago. Hey, man, I'm just trying to... Uh, yeah, I mean, they would have had... I don't know how many people there, so maybe, probably... It, it's possible. Because yeah. I remember at the IQ, the classic I top eight, one X2 got in because um, the top table didn't draw in. Oh, jeez. Like, it was because, like, the f guy who was already undefeated won guaranteed first seed. Because he's on Sun and Moon, and I deck's a lot better on the play than draw in modern. I just, I just don't agree with... Unless you know that you're going to win 100%, I have a problem when you don't try to, like, draw in. I mean, no, he like, the guy who won the play was guaranteed top eight anyways. Was he going to be, like, I, I guess, I, I don't understand, like, guaranteeing yourself a seed. He won a guaranteed first seed. Yeah, I mean, the play draw modification rule, really, it really matters, but I prefer just to take a round off and chill, you know. You know, he already did that last round. Oh. Like, round eight, he just wanted to play round nine for seed and... What? Yeah, dude. Whatever. Hey, he was a guaranteed top eight, so why not? Whatever floats your boat, man. I lost my loss in that. Pe what lands? Uh, those aren't lands. Those are artifacts. Uh, those. That's actually a different color of mana. Although he's used the oh. the terrible okay. battle for Zendikar lands that you can't tell what's what, where the where the swamp and the forest look like the same color. The island is pretty close to also being. Also being a swamp or a forest. Who's the white man at? Oh wow, he's got a. Um, he oh. has. He has grape shot in his hand. There's no white man. It's colorless. He has red, blue, and green. Oh. Is Augie dead again? Maybe. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe. So here's the thing: we can sack all of them at the same time. Right, let's see. This, if, this is what I was talking about. Like, let's see if Ash knows that. Oh God! Storm count. <laughs> I, I don't. It doesn't seem like he knows it. Because that seems very important right here, doesn't it? Yeah. You, you, I mean, it's not all at the same time. You just need to. You, you can just hold priority. I'm going to sack this. I'm going to sack this. I'm going to sack this. So it's not technically at the same time. So it's rare and sweet. Uh, for one mana, 
uh, what is it, two mana comes into play. It actually comes into play tapped. Yep. But when you sack it, that is one when it goes to graveyard to draw a card, and you get two mana of any color. Yep. He could have done something right there, right? He could have gone infinite right there, right? I don't think it matters. <laughs> so there's the one. Thank you, Zuko. Oh, Zuko86 with a 500 bits of cheer. Thanks, man. Yeah, we appreciate it, Zuko. He's also one of our subscribers. Well. Yeah, thanks, man. We appreciate it. Um. Um. What? See, like, the, my main gripe with these combo decks, like, I, half the time I don't know what's going on. Like, I should know what's going on if I'm trying to be competitive. But, like. No, nah, the game's over. Cast that, sack it, bring back Mox Opal. Yeah, tap for mana, sack your Mox Opal. Bring back nothing. Sack the uh, sack the star or sphere, whichever one that is. Bring back Opal. Draw a card. Play Opal, tap for mana. Play your Mirror Retriever. At this point, you can just loop them. Yeah. He, he just, can just loop Mirror Retriever. But it, you don't get mana by looping Mirror Retriever. He, 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 just, just, like, he wants, wants to build Storm. He doesn't care. He, yeah. he has Grape Shot in his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he's not going to do that. He wants to complicate it. He wants to seem smarter than he is, I guess. I don't know. Like, oh, man, let him, let him. If this is Moto, I'm like, F6. You, you do you. Yeah. Like, he could just be, like, no, yeah, yeah, like, he could just be, unless like. It, unless it's actual Storm, if if they Storm and I know they had the win, I'm just going to scoop. Yeah. Like, um, I, I'm not, like, trying to be rude, but, like, Magic players do have a tendency to, like, complicate lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like we're, when, oh, another Scrap Trawler. Yeah, it's like uh, when Magic players don't scoop. Ren, can you turn off the autofocus by any chance? Um, Ren talked about it. Uh, she doesn't know how. Cause like what like um, right, we're working on it. Like what Ash could really do to simplify this, you could just like sack mirror retriever, bring back mirror retriever, sack mirror retriever, bring back mirror retriever, sack mirror retriever, bring back mirror retriever, right? Well, at this point, you can just yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. You can just show him a grape shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now I'll get his board, so he just packs it up. Argue, argue, like. I, we should have gave Ar Argy a coloring book right there. Um, you can do the traditional. He, I don't know the traditional salt thing. We write out F six on a piece of paper and set it down. Yeah. But uh, good for Ash. She was obviously well practiced with the deck. Yeah. It's a good time for the deck. Did well in the GP. Several. Yeah. Several. I want to. I want to ask him why he just didn't loop Mirror Retriever to make it simpler. Like no, like I'm generally curious. Solitaire's a great game, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, we actually have a Chiros player that's in the store tonight. Yeah. Uh, we'll try and get another match for you guys. Um, if not, I want to enjoy the Chipotle. The guy, that nice. guy just brought me. Um, you didn't bring it for me? You didn't ask, dude. That's not very cool. I mean, you should ask. I mean, I wouldn't share mine with you if I hadn't. Uh, I mean, I would give you chips if I got chips, but I didn't get chips. I like you enough, Adam. I would have given you chips, but I didn't get any. Yeah. All right, I so mean. I feel like we're on good enough terms with each other that I'd share chips with you. I don't yeah. know if you would share chips with me. <laughs> In all fairness, I'm not sure. I'd Probably my mother. Maybe. <laughs> <sighs> well, I mean, on that note... Do -do 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 -do. All right, we're going to try to get a match. If not, we'll be nice. We'll be back for uh, round Also, three. don't forget, um, try and uh, let us know what pack you want me to waste my money on today. Um... I want to punish him with Masters 25, personally. You know, if we have enough... Yeah, I agree, Heidi. He wouldn't. Um, but yeah, uh, Twitch chat, just uh, vote. What... I said maybe my mom, Heidi. Just like, vote what pack I should waste money on. Uh, we if have... Heidi was dying and needed to chip, I she would die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear this guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, if Mark's beard needed to chip... I would give it a chip. Yeah, like... And then I would shave his beard, because it's hideous. Um, like I said, just, uh... For the stream, just, like... Tell me what pack. I'll, I'll think about it, but more than likely, if they have it, I'll probably buy it if it's reasonable. Masters 25. I mean... That, antiquities? Yeah. Have an Antiquities pack? They don't have Antiquities. And aren't they, like, 50 bucks? Uh, we, they don't have Urza Saga, I think. No, they don't have Saga. You have 7th edition. We do? Yeah, you get, you get that $400 Bird of Paradise. 
Alright. Like I said, Twitch chat, uh, think about this type of packs that yeah, you want to see open or may possibly flip or rip it. Um, if you... Uh, whoever suggests a pack and... I want to say, like, donates at least a dollar to the stream, I'll play flip or rip it. Nice. Alright. Get your uh, get your bits out. Yeah. Um, but I would... There's 100 bits for him to rip up his magic cards. Yeah, but if Zuko wants a pack... Um, Play flip the rip it. Um, he can pick. He can pick because he donated 500 bits. All right, nice. I, I think that's fair, right? Yeah, yeah. Zuko, pick a uh, pick a. If you want, we if have you all don't standard have to. packs. We have Theros. We have all the core sets. We have a we have a lot of old packs. Um, we Seventh have, edition would be a good pack though, because you can hit really big on the foils because they're still black border. Yeah, or like if you just don't if you just want to meet open a certain pack, uh, you can do that too. Like it's up it's optional to play flip or rip it. It's not needed. I mean, he should definitely play Flipper. Really. I mean, that's up to Zuko if he chooses. So he'll be back with a pack. Hopefully, if, then, he, if uh, Twitch chat decides. And then if one person in the, in the chat requests it, Robert will flip and rip. Yeah, and but, gets. like, I only I only do it if you donate, like, Oh, dollar. man, I hope it's, like, a foil Jason the Mind Sculptor, and it just feels bad, man. Would he, would he cry? <laughs> not I really. Can't even, can't even I mean, not really. I, I well, we know somebody you could you could trade you could trade it to Joe Pascaletti. We have a we have a local trader that. Yeah, I mean, he loves he loves stories with cards, yeah. so he takes all the ripped up. Terrible okay. Hey, Zuko cards. doesn't want us to do flip or rip it. Do you want? Well, Zuko, do you want me to open up any certain pack? Anyways, what if he just eats the cards? Uh, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm going to veto that completely. I want to go get my Chipotle now. All right, all right, guys, we'll, we'll be we'll be back. Thanks.